Hello, hello there. <laughs> it's good to be back again to continue my series on relationship. And today, this video is the last episode of this particular series. This is not to say I wouldn't do series or videos on relationship, but this is to end this particular series. And then I'll go back and prepare and come back with more for you. <laughs> Here you are, you've met this dashing young man and you're asking yourself, is he the one for me? You know, you are seeing signs and things that are making you feel like, I think I'm falling for this guy. <laughs> so today I'm going to break it down for you to know if he is really the one. These are personal things that I have experienced and I hope that you would find value in this. All right, so in today's video, I'm talking about how to know he is the one for you. This is going to be the women, so stay tuned as I bring you details. A man who is really ready to settle down and marry is very patient. All right? He doesn't rush you. He's patient with you. He appreciates you just for who you are. He supports you when you are working on your weaknesses and his focus is on your content, who you are inside, what makes you come alive, what you are committed to, your values, your vision, your aspirations, things that, you know, things that cannot be bought by money. That is what he focuses on, not your outward uh, appearance, not your, your, your shape, not the, you know, not just the physical things. He appreciates you just how you are physically, but his focus and strength and everything he pushes in actually is directed towards who you are deep inside, okay? Your heart, your generosity, your, your love for other people and things that are intangible. These are the things that this person looks at and focuses on. His focus is not on your the makeup, whether you, you love making up or whether you, you are looking this or that, okay? He compliments your beauty, yes, but his focus is not on just, you know, how big your bum is, your boobs, your this and that, all right? He is a man, not a boy. He knows exactly what he wants. He knows exactly what he's looking for. He knows he is into the relationship for marriage. Not the kind of boy or guy who comes in and say, um, I want us to start the relationship and see where it will take us. This person knows that it is marriage he is looking for. And his conversation, his talk, everything he, he brings up, you know, your discussion is focused on marriage okay not the young man or boy who doesn't know what he really wants and drags you along as he tries to discover himself and even what he wants not that kind but this person he's done with the play he's done with the jokes he's done with the what should i say with the cheating and with the you know playboy attitude and he is just a man who is mature demonstrate a lot of maturity in even decisions, conversations and things with you and that is what you want to look out for. Not the young man who is still playing with boys, boys, still chasing after things that are unnecessary, okay? Not the boy who is only um, in for, you know, the fun. Not the one who is only focused on his job, that he's driving this car, that is so concerned about his appearance and how he dresses posh and always trying to, you know, please you with his physical appearances and stuff like that this person is mature his mindset his choices decision how he speaks and how he talks is all about something amazing and that there is just something about him that you you like so much that is it not the playboy kind okay that playboy will come he he's the type that is so charming he will sweep you off your feet all you see in his eyes is lust There's, there is so much lust in his eyes for you for your flesh for your body for your shape for it's all about sex 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 that's all he talks about that's a playboy but a man knows what he wants the man who is meant for you who is ready for marriage knows exactly what he wants and he goes for it you have to be emotionally and spiritually compatible emotionally compatible means that what makes sense to you makes sense to him emotionally too um you, you have you share the same worldview you share the same um values 
things that makes you happy makes him happy things that makes you sad makes him sad all right so you thrive together okay so when you find something attracting it means he also finds it attracting when you find something fun and joyous he also finds it fun and joyous with this you are able to blend and you're able to to feel you know that happiness and you try together spiritually i mean you must share the same belief if he is a christian and you are a christian it works better because when you both are from different religious backgrounds or you have different faith different beliefs it's sometimes very 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 difficult in few instances it works it works only when both of you are not strong believers and not strongly practicing your faith because at that point you are all just you know floating in your your faith so there is no much of a problem but when you are a strong believer in your faith and practice your faith and he doesn't then there is a problem because at this point you as the woman you would have to let go of everything that matters to you in your faith and follow him because normally as women when you are married you are married into the man's faith or belief so if you know that you cannot practice his faith then you have to make sure you accept someone who shares the same faith as you and that would make this work else it wouldn't work you must have the same world view on issues imagine that you you are with somebody who likes political party a and you hate that party it means it will work because all the time he'll be talking about this political party yeah 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 and you are like mm, you are not into all that he's talking about so it is very important that you share the same emotional and spiritual compatibility. You share the same emotional and spiritual beliefs. This would help your relationship thrive. Your values must be intertwined. That's when it works. But if you have separate and different views, I don't think it will work. If he is the one, he will be very patient with you. He wouldn't be in a rush because he knows that you are in for the long term, not the short term. So his focus is not going to be on let's have sex today. Let's, he wouldn't be rushing you in anything. He would just be so patient with you because he knows what he's looking for. He demonstrates so much support to you, support of what you're doing, support of your, your ambitions, your dreams, your aspirations. He supports you in general. He's not there to charm you, to manipulate you. you. You don't feel anything like you have been manipulated or pushed to do what you don't want to do. He is just patient. You don't feel anything like a, a wildfire, like it's just going to burn, 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 and then shh, it's out and that's it. You don't feel any kind of wildfire feeling. What you feel is something immeasurable, something that is unquantifiable, something that keeps you wanting to know him more and more okay because at that point you've developed trust for him so if you are with someone who is always putting pressure on you to do what you don't want to do he's always lasting up for you about your body and all he wants is just jump into bed with you my dear you have to look out and you have to watch out finally you as a person feel no sense of confusion you are just excited happy ready but not anxious okay because that's the sort of vibe you feel around him whenever you are around him it's just that feeling of maturity it's that feeling of i'm ready it's that feeling of this is him this is the one i want it's that feeling of no pressure just patience it just happens it just flows naturally unlike the other way where there is so much confusion there is so much anxiety you are rushing running trying to learn trying to find out doing research even on youtube asking how do i know he's the one like you are just in a confused state when he is the one internally as a person you would feel that satisfaction that freedom you feel that connection with him and that connection is not based on physical things that you see about him it's not based on his finance his money his pocket but it's based on his maturity his discipline his personality who he is what he brings on the table all right now i'll share my personal experience to just wrap it all up 
I met this young man. It was actually an online date. I met him on online sites and we became friends. We started emailing, messaging here and there. And then it's, we started um, chatting and talking just about life and everything. Then I asked her, hey, I want to see him because at that point he started showing interest in me. So I'm like, hey, it's time I have to see your face. Let me see what's going on. Let me know that I'm talking to a real human being behind this phone. Let me see the person. So we, we did a WhatsApp video call and then we started video calling. We started watching each other, knowing what he's doing. We talk now physically. I see him, he see me. Then the conversation continued like that. We've not mentioned that L word to each other, love. We've not said it because we, we wanted to be patient and know that what we are feeling is real and true. So. It was time and he was like, I want to come and visit and meet you in person. Then we get to decide what we truly are feeling. So he came down just as a volunteer through my nonprofit organization. And when he came down, we got to talk personally, looking into his eyes. He looking into mine and we talked. We expressed our feeling. There we got to see there is something more to what we are feeling than just... Um, conversations and chats and for us it wasn't about sex and nothing of that sort so from that point we decided we were going to date for as long as we want to without sex sex was like nothing we, we, we didn't even consider sex at the beginning so we dated for six months nothing happened no sex nothing then at that point we started planning let's get married because this is it this is the person I want to have have in my life this is the person he wanted to have so we were like let's get married and then something came up i had to travel so we decided to just push it forward a little more and then we did it for a year and finally we said this is it it's working let's get married so through this um experience i know when a man is really really ready he just goes for what he wants he doesn't play games he just decides this is it and as a woman, you also feel that contentment. You feel that satisfaction. You feel that gratitude inside you. you. You know it. You just have that feeling that this is him. He is the one. So I know it has happened to me and I know it would happen to you too. Just take into consideration this point I've mentioned and outlined because it would guide you as you step into that relationship and try to ask yourself or find out if this is him. I hope you find value in this video. This is the end of this first part of relationship series. This is the fifth one. And if you haven't watched the previous ones, the link is in the description. Go and watch them. And I hope you find value in them. I would be doing other series on relationship, but I would tackle it from different angles. I really, really want to tackle the issue of online dating because I've experienced so much. There are so many good people you can find online and there are so many terrible human beings you can find online as well. So I hope to do this video in my subsequent uh, series on relationship and I hope that you find value in that. If you are new here, I welcome you to take a seat. Join this amazing family by subscribing to this channel and also clicking the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be notified. So thank you for your time and I will see you in my next video. Bye.